Hello, every pony. Do you guys remember My Little Pony? I do. I think it's still very relevant. It was my favorite show as a child. Hi, guys. My name's Alana. Subscribe because I'm thirsty for subscribers. Woo woo! It is a really gross day here in California. It's raining a lot. We had like two beautiful weeks of sunshine and I'm like, April showers really do bring May flowers. Yeah. And then it started pouring rain, thunderstorming, flooding, wind advisorying. But today I'm trying on everything in my closet. The majority of people when they do videos like this, it's actually trying on their entire wardrobe, but I have too many clothes for that. So this is going to be trying on everything in my closet and then maybe later I'll try on everything in my actual wardrobe, like my chest of drawers, but today that's not happening because it's literally too much stuff. Let me just get freaking started. Woo! We're going in rainbow order so it's not like dresses, then shirts, etc. So let's just, let's just get started. I'm kind of scared. I really, I'm really scared. <laughs> Here's the first thing, it's this dress that I thrifted. It's got really pretty colors, which is cool. I really love t-shirt dresses because they're easy to just throw on during the weekend, so I'm gonna keep this. Huh. I'm obsessed with the colors. I think the colors are super cute. I really like mock necks slash turtlenecks with my hair length. I feel like it's really complimentary. But the thing is, this is a large and it was donated to me, so this was not my choice. Let's see if I tie it up if it's better. I don't know about this one. Comment down below what you guys think. I love the colors so much that I think I'm just gonna keep it because I love the colors. I'm gonna need to find a scenario in which I can wear this because I do really like it. If you guys remember the like clothes cutting video, this was in it. It's actually really like lopsided, you know? These are high-waisted shorts, so this is definitely too cropped. I am giving this away slash throwing it away. Okay, so I got this from Target and it was something I wanted for a really long time and then I finally got it when it went on sale for like seven dollars. The thing is I have a very small torso and very long legs, so even though the skirt is really cute, the arms are way too long for me. Like it's almost to the point of like there's nothing I can do about it. This is where it should be. I thrifted this, but this was brand new from LuLaRoe. It just really makes me feel like a girl. I think it's super cute, so I am definitely keeping this. This is from Forever 21. It's like a little hoodie thing, and I used to really love to work out in it. I think I'm gonna donate this, even though I love the color and I love the like mesh paneling. I just honestly wouldn't really pick it over most of my other clothes, so that's a clear sign that this is a no. This is from Target, and again, I used to really like it, but I'm just not that into the color pink anymore, to be honest. Also, the sleeves are too short, because I also have frequent long arms so this is a donation this is a Columbia hoodie from Columbia College my cousin gave this to me and it's one of the coziest sweaters hoodies ever I literally always want to wear this because it's just so cozy so I'm actually gonna leave this on the floor because I plan on putting it on after I film this video this is no joke one of my number one favorite things in my closet it's kind of cropped it's from guess and it's actually from the 90s I'm obsessed with it. It's like velvet. It's super soft. I don't know. This is just one of my favorite things ever. I got this shopping with my friends and I feel like when you're shopping with your friends you have like this different perception of the world and you just make some weird decisions. So this is one of those weird decisions. But honestly now that I've tied it up I think it's a really cute blouse and I feel like I could wear it at like an event. Honestly it's kind of feminine and cute and I feel like I could dress it up so I'm, I'm gonna keep this after all even though I didn't expect to actually like it. This is like one of the number one cutest things in my wardrobe. It's just this like lingerie kind of top. If I went on dates, I would wear this on a first date, but nobody ever asks me out. Ask me out, please. I'll wear this, okay? Let's move on. <laughs> this is the only yellow thing I own because the yellow looks really bad on me. I feel like it just makes my blonde hair look less blonde and it just looks like crap. So I think I'm actually gonna give this away. I just hate how yellow looks on me. I think it's so unattractive. So let's move on. We're going to blue now. And as you can see, literally like the vast majority of my closet is blue. So I'm really excited to get into blue because it's my favorite color to wear. This is the only thing I own with orange on it. It's just this mock neck slash turtleneck kind of sweater. It looks really ugly on its own. I had a vision for this when I thrifted it and the vision was great. If I wear my overalls with this, it's literally the cutest outfit ever. So I'm keeping this just to wear it with my overalls. After the fire, we got a lot of things donated to us and this is one of them. Columbia Gorge School of Theater, which is my dad's summer camp. Gotta get that promo. If you like acting, uh, check it out, cjst.com. CJST. 
gotta get that promo for my dad. Yeah, I love this color, but it's pilling. And honestly, even though I hate to say this, I think it's not meant for me. It's not the right size. It's a kid size. So <laughs> I have another CGST hoodie that I like a lot more than this one, clearly, because I've never tried this on before. So I'm giving this away or giving it to someone else. Sorry, dad. This is one of the only things I own from Brandy Melville. It's super flowy and really cute, and I am absolutely in love with it. I really should wear this more often. I love how this looks like my necklace and the fabric of this for some reason. I just think it's it's a look. Tommy Hilfiger blue sweater. I wore this to death this winter. It's just really cute and it's oversized. I don't know. I'm just really into it. It's so cozy, so keeping it. I don't even have to try this on. This is the Ralph Lauren sweater and it doesn't fit me, but it's not oversized and it's not dull blue like I like or dark blue like I like. It's like neon and it's just not agreeing with me, so I'm giving it away. This is one of my favorite, number one favorite thrift finds ever. The strings are messed up, but it's this massive UCLA hoodie. It goes down to my mid-thigh, so I literally wear it as like a dress. It's also Adidas, which gives it extra points. It's one of the coziest things I own. I'm never giving this away. I'm never, ever, ever giving this away. This is the CGST hoodie that I'm interested in keeping. The color I don't like as much, but the fit I like a lot more. The sleeves aren't awkward or anything. I just love it. It's also newer. I think it is actually new. The other one is pilling and it's kind of a wreck, but this one's new, so I'm keeping it. This here is a blue Tommy shirt that I recently thrifted and cropped. I'm obsessed with it. I think it gives me like schoolgirl vibes, you know, but like in a really cute kind of subtle way. I bought this dress for Hawaii. No, oh, did I just say that? You are watching this video right now and I'm freaking proud of you for that. So I just dropped like a bomb. You weren't supposed to know that I'm going to Hawaii. Uh, that's like an announcement that I'm gonna announce later, but you know now, cause you are a true fan who watches all throughout the video. I'll comment it down below, but you now know. I love this dress, I'm obviously keeping it. What the hell? I wore dad sweaters before it was cool. Not to be that bitch, but it's literally true. And I don't know, I actually kind of want to give it away. So I'm giving this away. I thrifted this on a whim. It was like a thrifting trip where the store was really small and I wasn't really into anything. And I did not think I would like this sweater. Then I wore it to school one day and I got so many compliments. Love the stripes. I think it's so cute. It goes really well with blonde hair. I just love it. I don't know, it's the best. It's so cozy, it's like almost velvet. It's really soft, so what is not to like? It doesn't really matter how this shirt looks on me. It doesn't matter what your political views are or what my political views are. It's just cool to have a shirt from 2008. Someday I'll show this to my kids and they'll be like, wow, mom, you're old. So that's why I wanna keep this. So this here is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater that I thrifted in the thick of summer. And it is so thick, speaking of which, very heavy. It's a 3X, so like, I got some major bat wings right now. It's super oversized, like literally my hands don't even have to exist. And California in the thick of winter faces some really cold days. Not to complain, but they can be like 40 degrees. <laughs> and honestly, as a Californian, I have no sweaters that are actually warm. This is one of the only ones I have, so I need to take advantage of it and freaking keep it. I got this from Target and I love it about being Californians. Sometimes we wear cropped sweaters. It's one of my favorites, it's perfect, I don't know. I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. This is my only cardigan and I am obsessed with it. Not with this because this is like a bunch of colors and it includes gray, but like there's this champion pink polo I have that goes really nicely with this and it's just, it's trimmed with white, so it's really just cozy, cute, on the go, I don't know, whatever. It's cute, let's just stop. This is the first ever dad sweater I thrifted. I love that the collar and the sleeves and the bottom have this like trim that's really cute. This is not just a story that's like quirky. I'm not just trying to be cute, but this was literally, I thrifted this two days before the fire. And when we were evacuating and the fire was a quarter of a mile away from our house, I was like, Wait, 
I just need to grab one more thing, dramatically ran up the steps for the last time and grabbed this from my dirty clothes basket. Not kidding, we left, the house burnt down, and I'm still so glad that this exists because I'm obsessed with it. I'm literally never giving this away, even if this is no longer in style anymore, this is still solid memories. This is a recent dad sweater find. It's got buttons going down, which is pretty cool, and I really am into the stripes. It's super cozy. Going through my closet has made me realize I need to wear it more often. Oh my. Sometimes just the whole dad aesthetic just goes a little too far. That's what's happening today. Uh, I'm not keeping this. I am, I didn't even try it on. Um, my grandma actually thrifted this for me. Wait, hold up. Is this like kind of cute though? No, no, it's not cute. It's ugly. I am donating it. Sorry. In two different videos, I tried this on and I'm not trying this on again. I need to come to terms with the fact that I'm never going to be able to find a way to style this and it's always just going to be sitting in my closet. So I'm donating it. This is literally my only like flannel. So I'm keeping it obviously. All right. So this is a Vans hoodie and it's just pretty meh. Honestly, it was pretty freaking expensive, so that's why I'm gonna keep it. It's very cozy, so I think it's kind of justified. Oh my gosh, this is fat memories. I saw Waitress, the tour, on the back it says, Sugar Butter Flower. And it's so cute, and it's so cozy. And the what I really appreciate is that the wrists are really tight. I have tiny wrists, so it just fits absolutely perfectly, and... I love it. I should wear it more often. I thrifted this. I love the colors on it. I just remembered that I wore this on the day that we had a tornado warning here in California. And that never happened. And I had an anxiety attack. It was not a good day. But I still love this. This is a massive, heavy leather jacket that was donated to my dad. But my dad let me keep it in my closet. And I didn't want to like say, no, I don't really want it because to be honest, it's badass. I mean, look at the back. It's badass, but it's so large on me that I have never worn it. I honestly think it would fit him really well and it would look really cool on him. So I'm going to give this back to him, but it is freaking bad ass, right? This is kind of really not cute. It's from the 90s, but unfortunately it just looks like absolute crap on me. So... I'm going to have to donate this. Okay, yeah, this is a lot more like it. I like the stripes a lot more in this one. It's also from the 90s and it was donated to me. I love where it cuts off. You can't see, but it's right at my mid thigh so I can wear it as a dress. It's just the freaking cutest thing ever. This is one of my favorite things ever. It's a nice jacket. It has some stripies. It's a windbreaker. I don't know what's not to like. The collar is contrasting. It's just... Literally the best ever. I'm not trying this on, but I think I wore it in a school vlog once. It's just not cute, so I'm not keeping it. That's all. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it is 46 minutes long and I'm going to be editing for like, I don't know, maybe eight hours. Since I put in so much effort into this video, it would just be like insulting, disrespectful, um, rude if you didn't subscribe freaking subscribe i'm thirsty as hell for subscribers because i'm almost to a thousand and that means you get to earn money i'm just being real here i need you we need you you're sexy i don't even know i think i'm in like some sort of haze from trying on so many clothes